Good morning. I hope you're doing well. This is Wordly Wise. It's going to be our last day for Wordly Wise and for this lesson. Next week, we will start a new lesson with Wordly Wise with all new words and everything. So let's finish up Wordly Wise with our 10 vocabulary words. And we're going to go over them. I'm going to show you the picture and I want you to tell me the word, shout it out, and then see if you can come up with uh, first, tell me what the word means and then come up with a sentence. So first, you're going to tell me what you think the word is. Good. Did you say row? What does row mean? There's two meanings for it. Shout it out. Just shout it out. Pretend like we're right at school. You don't even have to raise your hand. Oh my goodness. I don't know making you raise your hand. What does row mean? Good. So it means two things. It means something that's in a row. So in a line or it means to row the boat. Very good. So I have a row of bowling pins here, or the duck is rowing the boat. What is this vocabulary word? Good, do. What does do mean? This is a tough one. It's little drops of water that you find on plants and grass and stuff, typically early in the morning, um, it's moisture. So you can say there is dew on the leaf early in the morning, dew. This one, strong. What does strong mean? means you're able to do things with your muscles. You're able to lift heavy things, move heavy things. This young lady's lifting weights. This young lady is strong. I always think this was once funny. I told you I, I would never do this. Stare. What's it mean to stare? Ooh. What's it mean to stare? means to look at someone for a long time. Someone or something. My mom always said, stop staring at that person. I have a lot. I, don't, I don't used to be a big stare. Still kind of am. This boy is staring at the gorilla. The gorilla staring back, it looks like. There's another one. Good. Join. What's it mean to join? It means to connect. It means to, to be a part of. So we said you can join the team or we used our math lesson from Friday. You can join the rings. You can join one another together. The boy wants to join the soccer team. And what happens to be our next vocabulary word? ring, we can make a connection from math. We joined rings together to make a chain. So the ring has two meanings. They are making a ring with people by joining hands, or a ring is a piece of jewelry. I'd like to play ring around the rosy or she wears a diamond ring. Oh, here's this goofy one I always laugh at. I don't know why, but I do. I just think it's so silly. Just silly. <laughs> I don't know why. Slip. What's it mean to slip? It's not just to fall. It means to slip on something. So this, so this clown is slipping on a banana. You can slip on water. You know, that's why we always tell you not to run in the halls because you can slip if the wa if the floor is wet, you can slip. So, um, especially if it's muddy or wet, you can slip, another connection. So slip slip means to fall, but fall because something something's there to make you fall. So it's not a push, but it's, it's slip is to, you're not just falling because you're falling. The clown slipped on the banana peel. Here's another one. 
soil. Soil, and we said this is a synonym, which is a, another word for dirt. And soil is um, something you would put a plant into. It's rich and it's dirt and it helps the plant to grow. And I used rich soil for my tomato plant to grow. I don't actually grow tomatoes, but I would love to grow tomatoes. What's this one? This works really well for this week because we've had some rain and stuff and I'm supposed to get some rain tomorrow too. And Oliver tends to do this. Muddy. Muddy. What's it mean to be muddy? What is mud? Good. If you said it's a mixture of dirt and water, that's exactly what it is. It's dirt and water. I think it's everywhere when it happens. She was so muddy, she tracked it all the way through the house. You could see her footprints. Oh my goodness. And the last one that's super, super cute. My favorite card, I think, this week. Fluffy. Fluffy. What's it mean for somebody to be fluffy? It's soft, it's furry, it's, it, it feels good, it, it's got hair, you know. Oliver is definitely fluffy. So that can be my sentence, Oliver is fluffy. So something I have to tell you, uh, I gave a shout out when I did my dog drawing with my hand the other day, but uh, my friend pointed it out and, I, and we have to say it because it's Oliver's best friend too. We said, we said this a while ago that this looks like Oliver for Fluffy, but this looks like our friend's dog Jackson, the Dalmatian, who is also Fluffy. And it's so funny because Jackson is kind of Instagram famous that he has his own t-shirt. And so I had to show you. If you look, this is an actual picture of Jackson put on a t-shirt. And that's Oliver. Isn't that funny? That's Jackson and that's Oliver. And then there's Jackson and then there's Oliver. So I think that's so funny that in real life they're fluffy, but on the card it's fluffy. And I didn't make these cards. It just happened to be that way. So I just think that's so funny that Jackson and Oliver just happened to be on the fluffy card. So thank you for pointing that out, Julie, because I'm just so excited. Okay, one more thing to do very quickly. On our book that you don't have, but I have, so it's an easy thing we can do. You can point to the square, or you can point to your TV, or you can yell out, I'm gonna give you an option. And all I want you to do is tell me which one shows the vocabulary word. Which one shows join, A or B? Which one shows join, A or B? Which Legos are joined, A or B? Good, if you shout at B, you're right. These Legos are not connected or joined, these are. Okay, look at number two. Which one shows soil? Which one shows soil, A or B? Which one shows soil, A or B? Good, if you said A, you're correct. This is soil. This is a little pond with water. There's actually no dirt or soil anywhere there. Number three, which one shows muddy, A or B? A or B? Good, B. These boots are muddy. These boots are nice and shiny and clean, so they are not muddy. These boots are muddy. Last one, number four, which leaf has do? The vocabulary word is do. Which leaf has do, A or B? A or B, which leaf shows do? Good, B. Little dew drops are on B. There are no dew drops on A. Our last activity for today We're gonna name this guy Larry and 
Bertha. Need to get to Gerda. Okay, so Larry and Bertha need to get to Gerda. And they're going to go on a thing, and this thing is called a maze. So a maze is a trail or a path that you take that you have to get around things, and it uh, can be a little bit of a trick, tricky. So in order to get to Gerda, Larry and, uh, I can't remember her name already, Bertha, Larry and Bertha, uh, need to go on the maze that is floppy. So look at all the different animals and which maze would be best for them that is fluffy. So we have a seal, a snake, a rhinoceros, and a turtle on this maze to get to Gerda. Larry and Bertha could do that way, or they could take this maze that has a little chick, a bunny, a lamb, I think it's a little kitten, uh, can take this maze. So which maze is the fluffy maze? Which maze shows fluffy? A or B? A or B? Which maze would Bertha and Larry take to get to Gerda? They want to take the fluffy maze. A or B? Very good, they want to take the B maze. This is all fluffy animals. These are not fluffy animals. So they would take this maze to get to their friend. Okay. That concludes Wordly Wise for this week. And we're all done with that lesson in vocabulary words. Next week, we'll start with a brand new lesson and brand new vocabulary words. Tomorrow, we'll do something different just for fun. All right. See you tomorrow for something fun. Bye.